friends, I have some children's books to show you. I've put them all in one category, fiction and nonfiction. So these are just things that are relatively new to the shop that you might not have seen before. So um, I hope you enjoy looking through all these and we'll have them for sale this week. This is Cowboy Small by Lois Lansky. Dust jacket is pretty tarnished. Look at how cute that is. Ah! Uh, and this is a former library book, so that's what all this is about. Oh, it's so cute. Got some taped pages here, some little rips. This is a well-loved book. So sweet. Next, a little golden book of Bible stories. It's got a little dent here in the bottom corner, the name. But the pages are nice and clean. Let's see what's next. This is The Little Lame Prince. Former church library book. Nice full page color plates in here. This is a story I have not read yet. This is another cool one. This is The Long White Month. Look at that cool snowflake spine. Isn't that neat? Uh, church Library, 1942. A little bird with a black cap. Oh, so sweet. All right, next we have Ty Lee's Precious Seed. Florence Nightingale. This one is obviously pretty rough, which hopefully meant, means it was read a lot. Church library. A lot of these came from the same church library. They donated all their books to a library and I bought them from a library. Next, Childhood of Famous Americans, Molly Pitcher, Girl Patriot. Juliet Lowe, Girl Scout. This is nice and tight, very good condition. Church library. Israel Putnam, Fearless Boy, same as the previous. Very sturdy, nice and tight binding. Church library book. And we have Alan Pinkerton, Young Detective. checked out a few times but yeah these are in such good condition Teddy Roosevelt all-around boy and Jeb Stewart boy in the saddle And then I have this Paul Revere, which is a different binding. This is, but this is also Childhood of Famous Americans. Boy of Old Boston. I never really thought about it before, but that's such an interesting illustration style to just have silhouettes all through the book. All right, Sitting Bull, Champion of His People. Very sturdy, heavy-duty binding. This is also from that church library. War clouds gather. Sitting Bull defends his hunting grounds. All right, let's see what's next. Once upon a time. 20 cheerful tales to read and tell. How the Milky Way began. Why the bananas belong to the monkey. 
please, all, please, none. The Happy Cure. Anyway, little storybook collection. Here's a beauty. Snowed in Hill. Story in Pictures by Grace Paul. Same church library. Oh, look at that. What a beauty. Mm -mm -mm. 1953. And then The Egg Tree. This book is so cool. Easter Morning. Look at these illustrations. Oh, so precious. We just checked this one out of the library the other day. And then, lo and behold, I found one. The Pointed Brush. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Patricia Miles Martin. This is from 1959. And then we have the Little Fur Family. This is a Margaret Wise Brown book. Illustrations by Garth Williams. So precious. Uh, Tommy De Paola, the Clown of God in a Dust Jacket. Beautiful Aesop for children, pic with pictures by Milo Winter. So nice, just beautiful. There's a full page on the town mouse in the country mouse, and then I have a Babar. Babar's mystery. Dun, dun, dun. Run. Church library book again. Isn't that precious? Love it. This is Washington's Boyhood. A book for young people, 1931. Next. Children of Foreign Lands in a Library Binding, former school library book. So, this is a Platt and Monk, 1937. Okay, and I have this set of two Tasha Tudor books. A is for Annabelle. And one is one. So one is a basic counting book and one is a basic ABC book. This is uh, Rebecca by Frank Ash, a pretty hard to find book. It's a former library book, as you can see. Rebecca is my dog and I am her boy. Some smudges here and there. And this appears, this is a library binding too, nice and sturdy. This book is called Kittens and Puppies, Horses and Rabbits and Insects, Turtles and Birds, and it is fabulous. So it's an early reading book. So here's the kittens, the cat family. Here's the puppies, horses, rabbits. Isn't that amazing? The turtles. I love this book so much. And then this is a very interesting, rare out of print book called Mousekin's Golden House. So it's the story of this mouse who makes a house in a deserted jack-o'-lantern and it keeps him cozy and warm all winter long. Former church library book. This book is really cool too. It's called The Book of Trains. It is just a very large format picture book uh, of trains. A feast, the fast express at full speed. The limited leaving the busy yards. And here's the different types of train cars. So this one has all this riding on it. Steam, streamlined motor train traveling over 100 miles an hour. More train cars. There's the back. This one is really beautiful too. A nursery garland. 
woven by Kitty Cheatham, pictured by Graham Robertson. This is a music book, but also beautifully illustrated. It is from 1917. There's a loose illustration right there. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, Guardian Angels. There's another illustration. My Lady's Garden. So yes, an absolutely beautiful book. Then I have this set of Winnie the Pooh, A.A. Milne stories. I have Winnie the Pooh and Now We Are Six. These both appear to be in um, new condition. Here's some more new books I have. Pride and Prejudice, Seek and Find Classics. So this is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice with Seek and Find stuff on the pages. And I have the same thing for Alice in Wonderland. So Seek and Find Alice in Wonderland. The Pool of Tears, that says. I love this book too, the Junior Instructor Book, book one. So there's two books in this series. This is book one. I just sold book two um, maybe two weeks ago. So poems, stories, activities, all kinds of beautiful illustrations in here. Sock dolls. A book of surprises. Spool knitter. Ooh, let's read about these animals. All these color illustrations. Isn't this a cool book? And there's the plays, games, and activities, and music. That book has everything. Okay, I've got an old Mother Goose here. The real Mother Goose is pretty damaged on the spine. It's really pretty inside. So let's take a look at the illustration style. Isn't that lovely? This is a Rand McNally book, 1956. Next, we have Choo Choo, Virginia Lee Burton. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Former library book, the, the story of a little engine who ran away. Very pretty and hard to find. And then I have a Thornton Burgess, The Adventure of Buster Bear. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Love that edition. Nice and clean and sturdy. I like this one too, Bats. This has a dust jacket. Nice and clean inside. This is a Follett Just Beginning Science book, so it's all about bats. And I have two Raggedy Ann and Andy books. Raggedy Ann and Andy and the Camel with the Wrinkled Knees. And then Raggedy Ann's Wishing Pebble. We have My Five Senses, a nice hardcover version of Aliki's My Five Senses. This is a um, early science reader. Let's read and find out, book club edition. Then this sweet little poetry book, it's called A Romper Room Book. My poetry book, Children's Best Love Poems. It's got some writing and pen there. Oh my gosh, isn't this darling? Sweet, sweet, sweet. I want to be a bus driver. I really like this book. Very cute inside. Very early reader. About a boy who wants to grow up to be a bus driver. Isn't that precious? Former church library book. Here is another, let's read and find out science book. A tree is a plant. Hardcover, it's got some pen in the front there. Very nice. Then more science books. Let's see. Insects do the strangest things and um, animals build amazing homes. These are both in very good condition. This one looks like it was a former church library book. Then a Whitman Learn About book, The Big Builders. Stones, branches, and leaves. The sky's the limit. So this is about 
building all kinds of things. Looks like there's science experiments included in here. And then this pretty book is called Rococo, a French Crow. Got a little bit of pencil scribbles there. Set in Paris, it looks like. So stories and more really so stories. These are nonfiction short stories about a variety of topics. St. Patrick's Day, Lent, Easter, uh, the Mayflower, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, uh, military salutes, forks, silk, everything you could imagine, and really lovely illustrations. So there's the Boy Scouts, St. Patrick's Day, the Mayflower, about carrier pigeons. Very cool. So that's a set of two that I'll be selling together. Next, Elizabeth Gordon is this one, the Turned Intos. Okay, she writes wonderfully about nature. So this book is in, is very heavily soiled, but it's just beautiful. So Jane Elizabeth discovers the garden folk, 1920. We have Prince Tiger Swallowtail, the June Bug Twins, the Katie Dids, Hummingbird Moth, the Baby Froggies, Prince and Prisa Princess Dragonfly, and on and on. So each little section is about a different animal. And the illustrations are just so pretty. Just beautiful. But yeah, that one's pretty um, heavily soiled. This one is too, but uh, it's just so cool. Mother Earth's Children, the frolics of the fruits and vegetables. So um, each page is about a different fruit or vegetable. Little Miss Radish, lettuce, button mushrooms, green pea, wild strawberry, carrot ladies, currant ladies, cauliflower, plums, quince, squash, pineapple, everything you can imagine. Isn't that amazing? What a delight that book is. Okay, moving on. Leslie Brooks, the Johnny Crow's New Garden. So this is an early reading book from an elementary school library. Cute. What a sweet little picture book. Next, The Pet of the Met. This book is signed by the authors and it is a wonderful story of a mouse that lives in the Metropolitan Opera House, has a run in with a kitty cat, and they both learn to share in a love of opera music. Very cool. Next, Flowers of Delight. This is a rebound book in a library binding. An agreeable garland of prose and poetry for the instruction and amusement of little masters and misses and their distinguished parents. So much good stuff in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. All different kinds of stories and um, illustrations, ABCs, history, all kinds of amazing stuff. Peter Piper's Practical Principles of Plain and Perfect Pronunciation. Isn't that a delight? Ah, I love it. Okay, one more. This is a nice uh, copy of Heidi Illustrated Children's Classics. It says full color plates in it, and it is in great condition. 